Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mox, your host, and welcome to the finale of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, Mission 14, Planet Z Boss Battle, Zerg. We're going against Zerg one last time here. Don't move a muscle, not even a hair. I'd just hate to see any harm come your way. If anyone is to be harmed, it's you! All right, this boss battle is really hard. It's time to end your reign of terror, sir. Are you much more powerful than you could Really hard. What you have to do is you literally have to take out enemies so you can make money enough so uh, you can buy stuff. But be careful about your health because this is one level you're really going to have to pay attention to. Not so much in the other levels, but um, boss battle... The last boss battle of the game, you really have to be careful. And it eats it up pretty fast, too. Yeah, you want to have the power shield for these type of monsters, like I've already explained. Because that is really crucial. Now, when he comes down, that's your chance to shoot him. Good trick here is to upgrade your weapons as much as possible. That way it does more damage. But be careful of your health, that's all I'm gonna say. Other than that, this boss battle was pretty pretty straightforward. See what I'm doing there? And space out how much you use the health boxes too, because if you use them too fast, they recharge slower, so um, you're going to have to space it out so that way you always have one. But yeah, you can pretty much beat him with just the plasma gun alone. These enemies again. Oh, I just happened to run out of ammo just in enough time. You fall down there, it's an instant death. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna 
grab the hat because I can. Let me grab this. Yeah, these, that, this weapon upgrade okay, is really good to use. Just make sure you have a straight aim and you should be good. Yeah, I've had a really fun time playing this game for you guys. Um, it's been it's been a really um, good experience and uh, I'm glad that I was able to share a game for my childhood and uh, um, see the responses from people. It's been pretty awesome, to say the least. So thank you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. And, you know, it's never going to stop with me. It's just going to be always a thing that I will continue to do as long as I can do it. And um, I, do, I do battle with homelessness, so um, I constantly deal with chronic homelessness and uh, so if I don't um, have anything up for a while it's because I'm I'm not around to, to do it so um, all I ask is just for patience and videos will be uploaded when I can and, and uh, yeah that's all I ask um, and that's about it Okay, we've almost taken care of him, but what I'm going to do is... These guys do a lot of freaking damage. Jesus Christ. That was a lot of damage done. Oh, hell, thank God. Ah, another health box. Good. Okay. I was getting worried there for a second. I thought there wasn't going to be nothing. Alright, so, as soon as you get that done... Then you have to deal with his shield itself, which means you have to use color-coded weapons, all that crap. And so what happens is he starts um, attacking you from a distance, but then will move and all of that, which makes it a little bit more difficult to try to get him. But if you just keep on him, like I'm doing here, there's not really much where you can go. Now the problem is, is that um, these electric currents start moving. So it makes it even more difficult and you get hit from different directions as well. And uh, that's not good either. So just, just make sure that uh, you're well out of the range of that when... Uh, Jeez. I normally wait for him to come to me before anything happens, really. Um, it's more of a... It's more of a uh, distance thing. Okay, so we got the green shield now, which means I'm going to need the green, the, the green plasma gun. Where did that go? That's over here. It's over here. The homing gun. Yeah, the, the Gatling gun. That's what they call it. I can't even remember what... Um... I hate that when that happens. Because the items are so close together, it's like... Makes it more difficult to... Damn! 
Yeah, this uh, electric field can do a lot of damage to you. Especially if you're if you're not aware of it. are going right through on this. Oh, that was close. I almost fell off. Yeah, but the Gatling gun's good for one thing. It does a lot of damage in a very fast amount of time. So... Um, it's good for really chasing enemies down, really, um, not letting them have any chance of escape. Uh, there's no point for me to grab that, but I'm gonna grab this. Seems to be doing something now. The only thing I will say about the ice gun, and I've said it plenty of times, is the ammo on it is very fast used. Um, it's used very quickly. As you can clearly see, I'm out already, and I just got it. <laughs> and most weapons, you know, it has to have a high rate of fire in order for you to even have to worry about that, really. But it's got an extremely high rate of fire. Extremely high rate. One of the games I really hope to grab at some point is Shadow the Hedgehog, guys. I really want to play Shadow the Hedgehog. Um, although I, I would say I'm pretty rusty at it. I remember playing it a lot when I was in middle school, and I just lost a lot of skill over time. It's just never been something I've been able to really keep as a value to me as much. <laughs> Knowing how to play that game, that, that takes a lot of skill. Um, not as bad as Sonic 06, but it, it's along those lines, I'll definitely say that. Um, and it was very controversial when it came out. Um, Shadow the Hedgehog was very controversial. Um, I just happened to run out of ammo, too. You lucky bastard. Anyway, it was very controversial when it came out because um, of the style of gameplay like you, you know you never saw shadow and sonic adventure 2 carrying a gun and now he's carrying a gun and there was actually like language involved in it too uh, the, the d word was very frequent in that and yeah it was it was actually supposed to be rated t i believe but they ended up changing it to e10 because of the, the blood um, yeah, they changed the blood color from uh, red to green, I believe. So that was one of the main things. Or they took the blood out altogether. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Can you sit still so I can kill you? That would be fantastic. Oh, there we go. I could have just done that. Well, I think the, uh, the, the arc taser weapon doesn't do anything against him. Bring it on, Zerg. Infinity and me! 
And that is the end of Buzz Lightyear Star Command, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me on that. Um, and the credits are rolling now. Um, there really isn't much to say. It's just a go-ahead, straightforward game. The final boss is kind of hard, but kind of easy at the same time once you know how to do it. So uh, join me again for the next LP, which happens to be a series of fortunate, unfortunate events. And that will be uploaded as well, so be sure to check that out, as well as possibly a new one. So, and I think I've already said it in one of my videos. Um, and, uh, yeah, don't forget Parasite Eve Live at 8.30 tonight, so um, tune in for that. Alright guys, it's been fun playing this game, and I will see you guys in the next LP. Peace.